Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a big pot of Chinese chicken and pork bone soup stock. So let's get started. So here I have a big stock pot and I pulled out a lot of bones that I have in the freezer. And this is some knuckle and joint bones that I like to use. Sometimes it has the tendon and it also has the bone marrow. So this is going to give a soup a really nice flavor. And you can also eat the bone marrow and the tendon later on. We're going to place everything in the pot. I have um, pork bones from pork chop. You don't need to defrost it. I just throw everything in. This is the wing tips of the bones. And you, this is a good way to clean out your freezer too. Placing them all into the pot. Here's some chicken bones. So it's actually, this is a two-step process. We need to um, bring these bones up to boil and then rinse them out again and then add water for the stock later. Okay, so I'm just going to add water. I'm just going to add enough water to cover the bones. And here I have the pot on the stove on high heat. I'm going to let this come to a boil. As you can see, the water is almost coming up to the boil. It's just starting to break and all the scum has surfaced to the top. So I'm gonna let that come to a quick rapid boil before I turn it off. Okay, the water's uh, come up to a quick boil, so now is the time to turn it off. And that took about um, 25 minutes. So now I'm going to pour it into a colander and rinse out the bones. I have the water running a little bit. So be very careful when you do this, it's very hot. So at the same time, what I'm also going to do is just rinse out the pot. You see in, in the inside, there's a lot of um, scum and blood that's pulled up. Okay, make sure the pot is clean. So now, what I do is clean every bone of all the impurities and just place it back in the stock pot. This is going to help make a very clear broth. You can see the blood that's pulled up and just turn it up. Almost done here. Okay, so as, as you can see, if you didn't do this step, this would this would be in your soup. And that's not pleasant at all. So this is a crucial step to cold rinse the bones after parboiling it. Now I'm just gonna add water to the stock pot. And depending uh, again, depending on how much bones you're using, I generally use enough water to cover the bones and then add about two inches above that. So I have the pot back on the stove. It's set on high heat. Uh, previously, it took about uh, 20 to 25 minutes for this to come to a boil. I'm gonna keep an eye on it and make sure that it doesn't come to a rolling boil. Okay, you can see now the, the stock is just starting to bu bubble up a little bit. So it's almost reaching the boiling point. Okay, the stock has been simmering for a little over 20 minutes. The bubbles are breaking through the water. So what I'm going to do is turn it down to low. Do not, I can't stress this enough, do not let the stock come to a rapid boil. That's going to make for a very cloudy soup. So turn it down to low and we're going to skim off the foam as much as I can here. And I'm going to show you my secret ingredient for making uh, the soup stock. I like to use salted turnip and this comes in the package. There's two types. These are 
this comes in a little bundle which is great because it's already portion controlled and for this uh, amount of soup stock I'm going to use three and I'm just going to rinse it off for a bit to just get rid of just a little bit of the salt okay so now I have three little bundles I'm just going to add it to the soup and if you can't find the salted turnip bundles it also comes in, in slices so all you do is just slice the amount you like and rinse, rinse it off before placing it in the stock. Okay, so now that it's set on low, cover it, and I usually let it simmer for a good uh, five hours. Then we'll be back to check on it. All right, the stock has been simmering for five hours, and it's actually done. I'm turning off the heat, and as you can see, there's a layer of fat, so what we need to do is just skim the fat. As you can see, the broth is nice and clear. So I'm going to let this cool down before I strain it. Okay, the stock pot is cool enough to handle. All I'm doing is keeping the cover on and straining it into a container. Just repeat that. Okay, here we go again. Okay, so that's basically done. And what's left in the stock pot here are the, the chicken and pork bones. And what I do is I don't throw it away. I take the time to pick off the meat and I ration it out to uh, Shadow along with her dog food. And here we have a rich chicken and pork bone soup stock. This is a great base to use for any type of Chinese soups. This will keep in the fridge for one week I usually put a couple containers in the freezer and use it throughout the month. Watch for my next video. I'll be making Chinese watercress soup. Thank you for watching. See you next time.